method, okay? So what I mean by this is, for example, if you are in a relationship and the relationship has been very, very steady all along, and for some reason somebody was trying to get in between you and a significant other, I do sense that their efforts are going to be thwarted and their efforts are not coming to fruition. Because at the heart of this here, we do have the Three of Cups, which indicates, you know, a type of threesome type environment, or it's the beginning, the merger, or the, the very... Um, beginning in which the third person is starting to break their way through okay so i just want you to be careful of this energy because i do feel this is a game changer month for a lot of you we are kind of like on the threshold of something new as a result of it it's a new thing so tread very very carefully be aware of your surrounding and be very very um i guess vigilant just be very vigilant for the second half of this month when it comes to your interactions with another person. If you are dealing with an earth sign in particular, they're showing up here as a queen of coins, which is somebody who is very trustworthy, who will take care of you, okay? So this can be male or female. So if this is a work environment, I feel that you know where you stand with this person. What you see is pretty much what you're going to get because they're in the upright position. And also, I want you to think about, um, think about your past history if this person has never done anything there is really no cause for alarm there's really you know the the suspicions will be unfounded um and i don't feel there's any i don't feel there's any malice i don't sense there's any deception coming in from an earth sign so just um keep that in mind for this month i also feel that you know the the center card in this reading here is the hierophant in the reverse position and it deals with a lot about um potentially you know a work situation that has been very very stable something's going on in your work environment i feel for a lot of you something is going on where if you're expecting some kind of a monetary payout, I do feel that it is coming because we have the six of coins as the outcome. But I do sense that there's some kind of shuffling around. Um, there's some kind of um, there's some kind of I would say devious behavior coming through from a large institution. Okay, so this is not an individual. This is a large institution. If you're working for a governmental organization, if you're working for a company that has been a refutable company that has been around for quite some time there's some kind of internal either changes in their procedures or there's something sh uh, shuffling around there's some shift in the work environment i feel for for a lot of you so this is something to keep in mind however we do have you know good cards here that indicates success getting the recognitions that you need if you feel like you've been overpowered by a supervisor or somebody in your work environment who is not giving you you know the the proper congratulations that you've been asking for then i do sense that um it is going to be coming by the end of this month and the end of this month is also you know the the hollow um the thanksgiving excuse me Thanksgiving holiday season. So I do feel that in a work environment, there might be a lot of office parties. There might be, you know, situations where you're running into the work crowd and it's a mingling between work and play. So that's a, it's a interesting dynamics, but I do feel that for whatever has been going on, there's definitely information coming to light because the seven of swords is in the reverse position, meaning that Whoever has been, you know, unscrupulous, who's, whoever has been doing things behind the scenes or doing things they're not supposed to, there's definitely information coming to light that will allow you to reach more of a, well, they will be exposed for sure. But um, just keep in mind that um, currently, currently, for a lot of you, um, for a lot of Sagittarius sun signs watching this, you're going through your Saturn return and Saturn is a... Um, is a karmic master okay so don't do anything you're not supposed to so as a crossing energy the six of wands is a card of success however the crossing energy can also be neutral so it's like either reverse or upright and one of the very interesting interpretations that i've read for this card the six of wands is um it's sort of like you're at that point where you are getting the payout okay and you're feeling very victorious. You're feeling quite invincible. And so you let your guard down. And the card, the definition that I was reading for this card is, it's sort of like 
and letting your guard down and letting the opposition attack without you knowing. So be very vigilant for the second half of this month. That's one of the energies I'm sending, uh, I'm sensing for a lot of you. Um, you know, stay vigilant, stay alert, make sure that things are at the final stages of finality, of completion, or of um, wrapping up before you celebrate. So don't celebrate prematurely, okay? I do feel there's some information coming through at a celebratory function, at some kind of gathering. There might be situations in which you are dealing with an earth sign. You know, this can be a family member. I'm sensing for a lot of you, um, for the past few months, I've been sensing like this Virgo Sagittarius kind of dyad where the relationship is very, very karmic. So there is possibly a uh, an earth sign in your family situation and there is a celebratory energy coming through where you might have to cross paths with this person so just be very careful okay um i'm also sensing so this is going to apply for only a few so whatever whatever achievements you have you know procure for yourself and I feel that you deserve the congratulations. So I, I, I won't deny that, okay? But I do feel there is a difference between kind of like um, patting yourself on the back for a job well done versus gloating, okay? So just be careful about bragging and gloating or you might deal with people who are going through this where, you know, they, 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 they've like amassed lots of wealth based on their work environment and they're just gloating they're just you know um, rubbing it in everybody's faces so that can get very very annoying just you know tone down your temper as well okay for the holiday season it's just the proper thing to do but you know family gatherings can also stir up a lot of feelings within us okay because we are so deeply entrenched with the people that we live with that we grew up with so this energy itself might be a little bit problematic, and I feel like it's it's more of a Thanksgiving thing with a family environment, okay? However, on the work front, I do feel for those of you who are expecting a financial windfall, who are waiting around for new financial opportunities, I definitely feel um, a windfall coming through for you. We do have the Six of Coins here. The Six of Coins does indicate, you know, a helping hand. This is somebody who is stepping in in order to help you out financially. It also signifies a financial windfall, whether for, uh, whether or not it's from an investor, a corporation, some type of institution. It's also coming through for you. So I do feel for those of you who are looking for like a loan or something similar, if you were to search for a loan or get approved from a smaller, like a private bank, a family bank, I don't know if those exist anymore. Or something that is less institutionalized, you know, I feel that you're going to have a lot more success, okay? Because I do feel that despite, so we're going from four of coins, five of coins to six of coins, which is basically an alleviation of financial worries, but we still, at the heart of this, we still have the four of coins and the five of coins. The four of coins indicates, you know, hanging on very, very tightly to your resources. But in this situation, I feel that, you know, with the five of coins, it signifies some type of a, a karma, some type of a karmic situation, possibly a karmic relationship coming back in. And um, let your pride down would be my advice. Let down your pride. Allow other people to come in and help you. So don't be defensive for this month, okay? And likewise, you might deal with somebody who is a little bit closed off, possibly an earth sign, who is, um, who's very like, I feel like they're, they're a little bit wrapped up in their own obligations and responsibilities, so they might not be willing to let you in, let you into their inner life, let you into their, what's going on with them, so they, they seem a little bit guarded. But I'm getting this energy with the four of coins, which indicates to me protecting your heart chakra, not wanting to put yourself out there because you're afraid of getting hurt, or this very, very like, emotionally defensive mode, and it doesn't really bode well for any type of relationship when we are, you know, closed off like that. So just keep that in mind and try to loosen up, I guess, try to loosen up. Um, so it, it's a conflicting message. I feel like you either have to be vigilant or you have to let your guard down. So I feel like even though it's conflicting messages, innately, you know, 
who you have to be vigilant around and who you have to let your guard down around. So for example, if you're dealing with an earth sign and I'm saying, I'm seeing that the earth sign itself, they might be a little bit closed off, but they're good people. So regardless of your history with them, you know, they're good people. You know that, you know, they've got a good heart. They're willing to help and things like that. So let your guard down. If you need help, ask them for help because a helping hand is definitely coming through for you. I do feel that you are going to be on the defense, but you're going to realize that this person has very good intentions and they're in your life for a reason because there's some type of karmic ties. Once again, there's some type of karmic ties I'm sensing greatly for a lot of you. This could be like a daughter. This could be a mother. This can be like, you know, somebody in your life. It doesn't have to be a female earth sign, but I'm sensing that, sh that greatly or it could just be somebody who is, um, there is like a... a a history an ongoing history you know with this person and basically what i'm sensing is the the rest the the way this relationship will progress is still to be determined so nothing is set in stone yet and you have the ability to to restructure reshape redirect this per interpersonal relationship in any way that you like so keep that in mind and don't close yourself off to them or to their offer or if you need help reach out just reach out and whatever you project out into the world you will get back okay so reach out with kindness with a helping hand and um, i feel like they might be a little bit too proud to ask so that's another thing to take into account okay um, that's what I'm sensing here. So in terms of the advice, we do have the Ten of Swords. And that's why I, I'm getting conflicting messages. So I just want you to be careful and be vigilant, especially when it comes to... Um, when it comes to possessions being taken away from you, such as, you know, theft, robbery, and things like that, if you're going out celebrating, and this is also a card of celebration as well with the Three of Cups, um, just be vigilant about your items, okay? And the Ten of Swords indicates to me that if you're dealing with somebody who is very, very emotionally closed off and you've tried multiple, multiple, multiple times to just reach out and offer them, you know, some type of a, a, a bridge so that you can, they can meet you halfway, I feel like the timing is not right and they're, they're dealing with their own issues. They're dealing with some type of um, hostility in their past and they're, they haven't overcome that yet. So they will meet you when they're ready, okay? This is also a situation where I feel that if you're in any type of a work environment, try to follow the rules try to do things by the book and try try to make sure that try to make sure that you don't leave any paper trails cover your tracks whatever it is you're, that you're doing so for example sagittarius if you're just you know really excited about traveling for thanksgiving and you have all this work and you're thinking you to yourself maybe i can cut corners maybe i can dodge some of the responsibilities just be very careful about that because i feel like it might come back to haunt you Possibly not in November, but possibly around December. So just, you know, keep that in mind and do things in a very methodical, thorough manner. Okay. So take on the characteristics of a Virgo in which they're very detail oriented. They're very, they've got a really sharp eyes. Well, they've got really sharp eyes, sharp intuition as well when it comes to how, if things were done by the book. So you want to do things in a very meticulous manner before you head off, you know, for your Thanksgiving holidays, for those of you who are celebrating in the States. So just keep, be very, very careful about that. As for the external energy around you, we do have the hangman, which indicates to me, it's in the reverse position. It indicates to me that period of waiting, that period of, you know, a uh, stall communication waiting in suspense and waiting for something to come into your periphery that time frame is definitely over so i definitely feel very very strong busy energy happening for you by the second half of this month and i i feel like some kind of breakthrough is happening when it comes to an institution this can be school this can be work and it, it can just be, you know, customs, tradition, breaking out of your shell, doing something that you normally don't want. You normally, um, for some reason, I'm sensing it's almost like, oh, that's beneath me. I'm not going to do that. But for this month, you're like, oh, it's not so bad. So, and I, I use that 
that phrase very loosely, you know, something beneath me, because I, I don't feel you're arrogant. And I don't feel that, you know, Sagittarius are very, very open minded. And you're very much, you know, you only live once. So you got to uh, grab life by the horn. So you, you know how to live life. But I, I do feel that when it comes to um, like philosophical beliefs and, and, you know, having that moral compass, you might tend to take that moral high, high road or you might, you know, um, you might feel like you have a very strong, I guess, a stronger moral compass than other people. And you feel and you, you might like not approve of somebody's lifestyle just because you you don't um, agree with it but for this for the rest of this month I'm sensing that you kind of have to descend from I guess your um, your pedestal <laughs> you you have to descend from your pedestal and try to see where the other person's coming from okay so for a lot of you I feel that um, I honestly, so this once again is not going to apply for all, but I'm just going to say this. You have Saturn in your sign, in your sun sign, transiting your sun. You have the five of coins, which indicates um, some type of kar karma that is still kind of, um, it's in the process of getting released. It, it's in the process. Um, so for a lot of you, for, okay, so let's just say for those of you who have had like a string of bad luck, if for any reason you've been having like a string of bad luck for the past, let's say seven months, let's do seven months because I feel like that's what's, um, that's the energy that is being reiterated here because we have seven of coins, seven of swords. If you have had a series of bad luck with something where things you're, you're kind of like, um, turned against a brick wall and you, you feel very stuck. If for any reason that is happening to you, um, I feel like there's some karma that needs to be released and by released I mean I feel that you are holding on to people holding on to customs tradition values that are very outdated okay so I'm sorry to say so Sagittarius if you've been like you know one of those people that have been um, you know for example for example just a, an example if you feel like, okay, uh, I don't approve of interracial dating, for example, and then your your daughter, your son comes home with somebody who is of a different, um, you know, racial, ethnic group, and you don't approve and you, you stick by it, I do feel that it is time for you to let go of outdated customs, okay? Outdated beliefs, outdated uh, ways of thinking, because um, it's going to hurt your relationships. And likewise, if you're dealing with others who are... I feel like you might deal with others, especially another earth sign, who might have these um, you know, inhibitions about letting go of their outdated systems of beliefs. And um, I do feel that it is hurting their relationships. But once again, we can't really interfere with other people's life lessons. So just don't interfere with that okay but if it's specifically coming out um coming in from your end i do feel that this is the month that you're going to realize the ramifications of that and that's only for a very small mi minority of you because I, I don't feel that everyone is is doing this and i feel like sagittarius is probably the most open-minded signs of the zodiac so i i do feel in this way you know this is a very for a, a very select few additionally so, for example, if you have the belief that, you know, people should not live together until they're, you know, like a couple, a man and a woman should not live together until they're married, you know, that, keep in mind, that is your personal belief, and you shouldn't impose that on other people, especially when it comes to your children, or when it comes to people you care about, and you, you want them to be okay, but when it comes to, you know, these very, very personal beliefs, it, it's better not to preach to other people, okay? So try to descend from your pedestal and try to look at look at maintaining harmony and balance in your relationships rather than taking on a preachy stance when it comes to telling people how you feel. 
like the what you feel they should do or how to live their life so don't encroach upon the ways other people live because i feel that there is definitely we we have some 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 very very strong karmic things coming in and this is going to be specifically <clears throat> yeah i'm getting this very very strong message i feel like Okay, so I'm just going to stick with this because I, I'm feeling it very strongly. So, you know, like I said in many, many videos, r family relationships are some of the most karmic relationships that we're going to have because we're dealing with, a, first of all, a generational divide. We're dealing with people who we've known really well and they know how to push our buttons, okay? And we likewise know how to push their buttons. So if the, if you've had like relationships with an earth sign specifically or just any relationship in your life, honestly, that have been very, very troublesome and a lot of it has to do with you not approving of the way they live or they're not approving of the way you live, you you can't change one another however if you love this person you have to relinquish control okay you know when it when it's like somebody telling somebody else how to live it's all about control it's all about control deep down you might say that um i know what's best for them and i want them to be okay I want them to have a happy life, but it's like, no, we are not supposed to interfere with other people's free will. We're also not supposed to interfere in their life lessons. So let people live out their life lessons and let people learn things because we all sign soul contracts for precisely that reason so that we can learn these important lessons. So the trick here is Sagittarius, for those of you who have had like very rigid upbringing, um, Saturn is going to bring about, you know, like, um, it, it's going to force you to re-examine your behaviors, re-examine your values, your belief systems, your childhood conditioning, and it's going to bring up these, you know, 